It's a common phenomenon that most people consider closing phones before takeoff to be must have since they consider that it may crash a plane somehow. Heck, even I used to think the same. But well, as time passed, I came to this realization that it isn't true. Let me take you back to why this law was passed in the first place. Have you ever questioned why flight attendants insist on activating airplane mode before takeoff? This protocol applies to all electronic devices including smartphones, tablets and laptops. But why is it necessary? In the past, all electronic devices had to be completely powered off during flights. However, modern devices now feature airplane mode allowing for activation during takeoff and landing. Despite technological advancements, airplane mode remains essential for flight safety. This method is rooted in concerns over wireless communications potential interference with the aircraft systems. Reports from flight crews highlighted disruptions caused by electronic devices, prompting investigations by aviation authorities. While no concrete evidence of interference was found, restrictions on device usage during flights were still recommended. Airplane mode prevents electronic devices from interfering with the plane's communication systems and radio altimeters. By blocking signals that operate on similar frequencies to aircraft systems, airplane mode ensures clear communications for pilots, essential for flight safety. Moreover, with the advent of 5G technology, the risk of interference has heightened. Ground antennas emitting 5G signals could potentially interfere with aircraft radio altimeters, particularly during descent and landing. However, aircraft altimeters are designed to withstand such interference, ensuring continued safety. Interestingly, in-flight Wi-Fi operates via satellite signals, eliminating the risk of interference with aircraft systems. Despite this, passengers can still access other services like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi while in airplane mode. While some flights have safely operated without passengers activating airplane mode, there is a growing emphasis on compliance, especially with the potential introduction of features like Connect Flight Mode for Android users. Ultimately, adherence to flight regulations, including the activation of airplane mode, ensures the safety of all passengers and crew. So now let me take you back to the origins of this airplane mode and why it was implemented in the first place. So the origins of the myth surrounding airplane mode stem from regulations implemented by the Federal Communications Commission FCC in 1991 prohibiting the use of cell phones on planes due to concerns about potential interference with ground networks. However, by 2005, technological advancements had rendered these concerns largely obsolete as testified by the FAA administration Nicholas Sabatini. Despite this, the ban persisted. In 2013, the FCC chairman Tom Wheeler proposed allowing phone calls and data usage on flights sparking controversy primarily centered around the annoyance factor rather than technological interference. Lawmakers and airlines expressed concerns about potential air rage resulting from in-flight phone calls pressuring the FCC to maintain the ban. Thus, the myth of needing to switch off or use airplane mode on phones persists more as a matter of social etiquette than a safety precaution. So, the question arises, how many people actually use this feature? In a recent survey, it was found that 1 in 15 people don't bother turning off or switching their phones to airplane mode when asked by flight attendants. On the flip side, a whopping 67% do comply with the request. Interestingly, guys seem to be main culprits here, being almost twice as likely to ignore these instructions. So, what's the big deal? Well, it turns out that 83% of the folks turn off their phones because they are worried it might mess with the flight somehow. Millennials are especially jumpy with 1 in 5 of them thinking their phones could even cause a plane crash. Which is usually highly unlikely. Across the board, the most common worry is that leaving your phone on could interfere with communication between the pilot and ground control. And get this, nearly a third of people think it could even make the cabin lose pressure. But there's always that 13% who just don't buy into the whole thing and figure their phones are harmless. So after all this, let's talk about what pilots have to say about this. In an article, a pilot, Christy Kirsten, talks about why we need to turn on airplane mode when we are flying. She says that there is a risk that our phones might mess up with the plane's communication systems, and this has been a worry since mobile phones first came out. 
Even though technology has improved, this risk still persists, especially during important times like landing in bad weather. Karsten says that it's important that we follow the rules and listen carefully to the safety instructions from flight attendants. We need to make sure that we don't distract pilots, especially when they are trying to land in low visibility. Karsten reminds us that it's everyone's responsibility to make sure that we have a safe flight. She suggests that we can use the onboard Wi-Fi to communicate during our flight. This will help us avoid any disruptions and make sure that everyone has a good flight. So, what's my take on this issue? Well, I have boarded many aircrafts in the past for the last 20 years of my life, but at times I used to think it might be dangerous to not use the phone in airplane mode. However, with time, I barely put my phone in airplane mode. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. With the advent of new and advanced aircraft, they allow phones to be used even when airborne. Also, planes now have onboard internet which users can use, so I don't see any reason to put the phone in airplane mode. Given that, while it's my take, passengers should use this feature in airplanes as the flight attendants ask you to do this. Well, it's better to follow the rules and regulations of the flight. So that being said, I wrap up today's video. Hope you found this video useful and if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. Peace out.